Is this the place? Are you the inspiration investigator? <laughs> Yes, I am. Well, I have something I'd like you to look into. I see. The old three years apart. Let me look into this. The concept of entering people's dreams has been around since the 80s. It's not the issue here. Western media being influenced by anime is not new either. What we have here is a very specific case of two movies with way too much in common. Let's start with looking at Paprika since it did come first. What gets the ball rolling in Paprika is finding out the device used to get into people's dreams has gone missing. Missing. It's up to the team involved with the device to figure it out, and they do so by going inside people's dreams. Prominently, Paprika. In Inception, our characters use the device in the same way, but the motivations are a little different. Dom and Co are tasked to put this idea in people's heads so their criminal records can be clear. Paprika is just trying to stop the line from being blurred between reality and dreams. Plots are different, but a lot of the details are the same. Let's look at the devices. Paprika is you just need to go to sleep and then you can access the dream, but in Inception, it also uses devices but it's a lot more complicated you have the architects totem the layering of the dreams limbo I'd say inception is a lot more fleshed out than paprika but it's pretty close honestly i can't really get mad at him using a device i mean how else are you gonna do it the similarities don't in there i won't explain it i'll just show you Like I said, Western media pays homage to anime all the time, but this isn't even homage, it's even down to the red shirt. There has to be some explanation to this. Nolan said he started writing the script for Inception in college, which was in the 90s, but I just don't buy that. Now I'm not gonna sit here and say, Christopher Nolan is unoriginal and he stole this movie. And I'm not saying Inception's bad either. What I'm trying to say is it's just so suspicious that he made a movie a few years after this one that is so similar, but has never acknowledged or said anything about the similarities, but is super open to saying James Bond movies inspired scenes. Hollywood just likes to pretend animation doesn't exist. Until people start wearing their influences on their sleeves, I'ma have a job.